New icon sub tokens have just been recently made available and in this video we're going to be talking about how can you get these 10 remaining tokens to try and finish off all of those token objectives and hopefully maybe get yourself a base icon player pick that is what I see lots of people are grinding towards and a few that have already opened theirs are getting really good pulls so that is what we're going to be talking about in this video how to get all of those 18 tokens even though you're only going to be needing needing 17 for whichever reward that you are going to be choosing so just before we get into it if you are new here make sure you guys do subscribe to this channel i'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one future objectives that are going to be released i'm going to be making videos how to complete them as quickly as possible so just definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos so getting straight into this one now we did have those past objectives in december and that is where you would have earned the eight tokens tokens and now the remaining 10 tokens are available to get right now for the whole month of January and also until around the first week of February so we definitely have a good amount of time to complete these and going straight into it now as we can see here five tokens are in squad battles and you do need to win on world class difficulty and each of them are going to be requiring a different thing so the first one is silvers then we do have champions league rares Liga NOS and then we do also have French cards and then lastly we do have first own players and this is all going to be 11 of these cards starting in your starting 11 so you can actually mix them up but it is going to be very important to know the squad battles glitch that is going to be helping you out a lot so as we can see here when we jump into a game what you're going to want to do to do this squad battle glitch you're just going to want to score a goal so that you are winning of course one nil and then it's all about passing down the time and you do want to run down the clock so ideally you just want to let the computer afk play or just have one player sitting there so you can go and do something else you don't have to actually be playing the game there's that risk of the opponent scoring more goals so the way you do do this glitch is you pass it back to your goalkeeper and make sure that all of your defenders and opponents attackers are outside of the box because it is quite difficult to complete this there is going to be a lot of interruptions a lot of different variables that can mess this up and it is definitely normal as well for this to take multiple times for your goalkeeper to mess up doing a lot of different things but you can try and reduce this by disabling in your settings auto clearing also auto shots and flare pass maybe those are going to help as well definitely auto clearing it should help from the goalkeeper prevent him from clearing it out when an opponent gets too close but even when you have this disabled he's still going to be doing this so that is why you need to make sure all of your opponents and also your defenders so he doesn't pass them by accident are well outside of the box so you can maybe some people have been suggesting you go ahead and score two goals and then you can just score an own goal and whilst everyone is up there you can just quickly go ahead and pass it to your goalkeeper so he's far away all of the other players on the pitch are far away but that is just something to test and try out but this goalkeeper glitch should be working for some of us it is definitely going to be a little bit difficult but it should try and help you out at least one half of a game this might turn out and work for you but you are going to be able to combine these different objectives together so for example you can have all 11 silver cards in your team that is going to be of course for doing one of these and just make sure that all of these 11 silvers are going to be first owner so that means you are going to have one club one that is going to be working as well at the same time as silvers that is going to be two in one that is really good already cutting down all of the matches that you need to play by six and if you do have a really huge club you have loads of different cards in there you are going to be able to even do three in one so you could do silver cards also first owner and maybe they're french so you would have silver first owner french but that again that is going to be very hard for most people to do even myself i couldn't do this i don't have enough cards in my club or you could also try and do silver first owner Liga Nos that is going to be of course Liga Nos something you have to do as well and then if you do these silvers first owner see if you do have French or Liga Nos if not then you also need to be doing the other half the second part of this the Champions League res that is you're going to have to do separately you cannot do of course silvers and Champions League res at the same time of course so then check Champions League res if you do have Liga Nos or maybe French and if you haven't done yet yeah, of course the first owners then make sure you do that as well but probably do that with the silvers I would say and then see with the Champions Leagues if you do have any Champions League rares 
French or Liga NOS. And the last one in here in this section, it is just going to be win 18 weekend league matches. So if you guys are struggling with this, just take it week by week. Sign up for each weekend league, try your best, and eventually you are going to be getting it. You do have a good four weeks, five weeks still left on this. So you are going to be able to get this eventually, even if you do take it really slowly. And then you do have Icon Sops Premier League. So this is just going to be win six matches in the Life at Friendly one league. There is no maximum games on on this so you can be doing the golden goal what everyone does do you just score one goal and then your opponent is going to quit if you can see the goal then that is going to quit as well so that is a possibility that you can do here you're just going to have to be doing winning six matches using first owner premier league players only seven and in those games of course you are going to be scoring goals just make sure you are also assisting with a through ball and you are going to be getting this one icon stops allen then we do have the exact same thing with icon stops in the league it is just going to be winning six games with seven first owner La Liga players and again there is no limit to this so this is going to be very simple just remember assist with those three balls now and again in a few games and the last two tokens that you are going to be getting to make those full 10 that you can get in January and the first week of February Icon Swaps One Nation and initially there was lots of panic with this there's only a maximum cap of 60 games on of course One Nation foot friendly but it isn't really big of a deal you only need to win 14 games anyway to get these two tokens. One of them is a full English squad and the other one is a full Brazilian squad. So there is no way, of course, that you can combine them. Just like the last one as well, no way that you can combine them, unfortunately. But I think golden goal should maybe still be seen here. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.